I'm hoping to make this course a little different from other courses that you may have taken because the one hour whole group lecture meeting is to be a response to questions that you have asked at least the day before. So that one hour whole group meeting will be a lecture by me talking with slides and the rest in your presence. But what I'm going to do is to determine the content based on the questions that you have asked at least one day in advance. If you took one of my courses last year, you will have seen that in action. That worked pretty well last year, and I'm hoping that we can do it with this course too. But in order to do it with this course too, it very much depends on you to ask questions. Now, asking questions is extremely difficult, even for a philosopher who, like you, has perhaps spent several years studying philosophy, and even for a philosopher like me, who's on the decades of studying. Sometimes I hear people say, there's no such thing as a silly question. Well, that's obviously false, right? You've suffered them and I've suffered them. In fact, I would say, you know, 90% of questions are silly questions and really shouldn't be asked. But here's the thing, asking questions is blooming difficult. And part of what we're doing in philosophy is asking questions. We don't see asking questions as a means to studying philosophy. It's actually part of the process. But it's a very difficult thing to do. And the only way that I'm ever going to ask a good question is by asking lots of pretty bad questions and improving my skills in refining and formulating questions as I go. And the same thing, I suspect, will be true for you or many people here anyway. So I need you to ask questions and I need you to ask questions the day before our whole group meeting. And I need you to do that by signing up for a service called GitHub. I know you're going to hate me for asking you to sign up for this, but it really is something quite wonderful. Uh, and it won't take you very long and it's free. Sign up for GitHub and that will allow you to post comments. You see, if you look at the online lecture notes that go with these recordings, so you should have a recording and underneath it a set of lecture notes for every component of the lecture. Under each page there, you'll see ask a question box. And if your question relates to that section, that's where you should ask it. That's where you should ask the question. What I'll do then is the night before, I'll gather up all of the questions that have been asked that week, and then I'll think about some uh, lecture material to create based on your questions. And you can see here that someone at work with me has already asked a question. They said, how many questions should I ask? And what I'm recommending is that you pose at least three questions over the course. Some people ask more, but I think a minimum for each of the 50, maybe 100 people taking this course should be three questions each. Uh, that's what you should aim to do over the nine weeks that we are meeting. Uh, and then where should I ask my questions? Please do ask them in this box the day before the lecture. That's very important because that will allow other people to see your questions. They can give them a little thumbs up to add emphasis to them. So I know that's going to be a more important question. And they can build on your questions as well. Uh, and they'll be able to see which questions are going to be answered in the question session by looking there. And so as I'm stressing here, um, last year when I did this, it worked pretty well, but many people thought it would be a good idea to ask a question five minutes before the meeting. The problem with that is that in many cases, I'm actually having to do a bit of research, uh, sometimes many hours of research to answer your questions because they can be quite difficult, and quite interesting and send me off in new directions. So in order for, to get the benefit of that and to allow me to make slides and to order the questions in a way that creates a coherent lecture, please do, if at all possible, ask them the day before our question session. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, well, you know what to do.